everyone welcome back to the channel so here we are discussing the fifth problem which is the lakes on code forces round 871 so the problem states that you are given n cross m grid a of non negative integers the value a i j represents the depth of water at i th row and j th column a lake is a set of cells such that each cell in the set has a i j greater than 0 and there exists a path between any pair of cells in the lake by going up, down, left or right a number of times and without stepping on a cell with aj equal to 0. The volume of the lake is sum of depths of all cells in the lake. We need to find the largest volume of lake in the grid. So after seeing that we have a pair of cells and we can go up, down, left, right, the first intuition comes is to use the dfs algorithm in this so here we would be using dfs to solve the problem so the way which we will be using is uh, we will start by iterating through each cell of the grid and then if it is not visited we start dfs search from that cell to find the cells that belong to the same lake so during the dfs search we would find these cells and track the minimum width, uh, minimum depth of the cells we have visited so far. Since this represents maximum height we can reach within the lake. Once we have found all the cells in the lake, we calculate the volume as sum of depths of all the cells in this lake. And we would repeat this process for all unvisited cells until we have visited all the cells in the grid. We keep track of the largest volume we have find so far and hence we would return the answer. So let's take that we repeat this process for the other lake and then we have the largest volume at some of the volumes. Now considering an example here in this we can take example of this one which is a 3 cross 3 grid here we can see that the maximum depth would be 5 plus 2 now let's see how it comes we can see that there are two lakes in this grid one with a depth of 1 and one with a depth of 0 so the largest lake has a volume of 7 now to find the largest lake, we would iterate through each cell of the grid and each cell that has a positive de depth and not visited yet, we would perform a DFS search to find all the cells that belong to the same lake. So we would keep track of the minimum depth of the cell we have visited so far and get the maximum height. Once we have found all the cells, we would calculate volume of the lake as sum of depths and when we start DFS search from the cell at position 1 comma 2 uh, which would be our <coughs> sorry. so our cell would be starting from so our lake would be starting from suppose we write 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 suppose we start from this one then we see that the volume of this lake is this connection which is this connection and in the another iteration we would find this so it would give us 5 plus 2 which would give us the answer as 7 and we can see that the output is 7 for this case hence the answer is correct 
so just we have to use the dfs get the depths add those and get the total volume hope you guys understand the solution thanks for watching